With the CFD file exporter, you can export a CFD file or a FlowRes file and show it in 3D in SketchUp as a quiver plot. You can select from the height that is available in the file and select an inlet angle from the inlet angles available. I choose to take the arrow length from the speed up and also I select to take the color of the arrows from the speed up. The length factor is a scale factor that can be used to adjust the arrow length. If the factor is 1, then the longest arrow is just long enough to touch the next arrow. Setting it to 0.9 makes it a little shorter. If having a few extreme values in the dataset, then all other arrows would be very short. And, and in that case you might want to change the scale factor to a larger value. I just press OK and now the exporter is created. I will just quickly create a surface exporter and a VGG exporter as well. First I select the area for interest. Now I create a blank map exporter. Now I create a VGG exporter. Before running the exporters, I need to load SketchUp. Now SketchUp is running and I can run all the exporters at once. This will take a little while for SketchUp to process. As you can see, it all looks a little black. This can be changed by setting the edge style of the objects. I can now make the VGGs rotate and I can also enable shadows if I like. If I go back and edit the CFD file exporter, I can change it so it exports all heights instead of just one, but then only at the VTG positions. The exporter will interpolate in the grid to get the VTG position values. Now I select just to run this specific exporter. This is what it looks like. Finally, I will just show how to export this to Google Earth. I don't want to export the blank map. Then I just select to export as 3D object and save the model as a KMZ file. Here I have the model in Google Earth. I need to go into the model properties and change the elevation to absolute.